Question six we go. They say an object with a mass of 50, 85 kilograms is initially at rest on the ground. It is then pulled vertically upwards at a constant acceleration of 0 0.75 meters per second squared. Right, so all of those things I would actually highlight. Okay, they said by means of a light inextensible rope as shown in the diagram below. Ignore a resistance, the mass of the rope or any rotational effects. Okay, so um, they say draw a labeled free body diagram uh, for the mass uh, while it moves upwards. All right, so we know for sure uh, it's accelerating upwards, so it's suggesting to us, okay, let me just draw it over there. So it is suggesting to us that we are going to have the force upwards. Okay, so I'm going to say that's the applied force. Okay, or you can say the force of the rope and we have the weight. Or you can say force of gravity right so that's how the um the free body diagram would look like as i, I said to you again right the marks do tell me about the number of forces involved so they say name the non-conservative force acting on the mass so i want you to note in this case which one would be the non-conservative force? That would definitely be the force that the rope exerts, right? Okay, so in this case, it would be the force of the rope. Okay, force of the rope. All right, so now they say calculate the work done on the mass by the gravitational force uh, when the mass has reached 11 meters uh rather the height a height of 11 meters right so what are we looking for we're looking for the work done okay by gravitational force so how would we get that work done so work done by gravity note that by the way um this object is going upwards okay so of course we're going to take upwards uh you know direction as positive so work done by gravity, that's going to be force of gravity, delta x, the cos of theta. Now note, uh, force of gravity, that's mass times gravitational acceleration. So this is going to be 8, uh, 85 rather, times 9.8. The displacement is 11 meters, right? And now remember, we said this angle is the angle between direction of motion. The motion is going upwards. But where is the force that that is the force of gravity, the force in question, right? Or in this case, uh, the force that is being asked or rather uh, the work done that has been asked, right? So that force is acting in the opposite direction. So the angle between the two is 180 degrees. So that's cos of 180. Okay, so um, let's calculate that. So that's 85 times 9.8 times 11. Okay, uh, that's the cos of 180. Of course, that makes it negative, right? So that's going to be, so the work done by gravity, that's negative 9163 joules. So that's the amount of work that is done by the gravitational force okay right now they say to us um uh, state the work energy theorem in words so remember we say that the network done on an object is equal to the change in kinetic energy okay Right, I always like writing it down because what you see is essentially what you get in terms of this definition. Right, now they say to us, use the work energy theorem to calculate the speed uh, of the mass when it is at 11 meters. All right, now I want you to note this time around we are actually looking at, uh, you know, and 
you know, a force that is applied and we've got an acceleration, which means, of course, it's going to change kinetic energy, isn't it? So let's find out what would be the amount of force that is exerted by the rope, okay? So if we use Newton's second laws, so I'm going to say, right, so for uh, 6.4, Okay, I'm going to say right F net is equal to MA. Now note, it would be the force of the rope minus gravitational force, which is equal to MA. So I'm looking for the force on the rope minus 85 times 9.8. And what does this give me? 85 times the acceleration is 0 0.75. Okay, so let's find out what the force on that rope is. So I'm going to say 85 times 9.8. Okay, if I take it to the other side, it becomes positive. Plus 85 times 0 0.75. Okay, so that's going to be 896.75 newtons. That's the force that the rope exerts on uh, this body. Right, but we are looking for the work done in this case. So I am, uh, rather not the work done, uh, we are looking for the speed, right? when it's at 11 meters. So I'm going to say, right, so the network done, okay? So, and in fact, we didn't even need to find the, uh, the force on the rope. Uh, we could have actually done this. We could have just said F net is equal to MA. And what is our F net? Our F net, our net force is 85 times 0 0.75. Okay, so that would be uh, 85 times 0 0.75, uh, oops, 0.75, that gives us 63.75, okay, newtons, that would be our net force. So we can say that the net force is equal to, right, so remember, this is the work energy theorem. Right, that network done, delta x is F net, delta x, the cos of the angle. Right, now what is our network done? Okay, so we're going to say our network done, um, in fact, uh, let me not remove that. So we know that our network done would be F net 63.75 multiplied by the displacement is 11, okay? And remember that the net force is in the same direction as the motion of the object. So this would be the cos of zero. So therefore we get an amount of 63.75 times 11, okay? So I get... Uh, yeah, so I get 701, right? 0.25. That's joules. But now remember that the network done on an object will cause a change in kinetic energy. Okay? So we keep that in mind. Um, I'm trying to just look for space here. So I've got this as 701.25. Okay, that would be half times the mass. The mass is 85. Okay, and this is times the change in velocity. So that would be final velocity squared. But remember, we said it is pulled vertically from rest, right? So our initial velocity was zero. Okay, right. So I'm going to just simply divide by half of 85 and take the square root.
Okay, so I said this is 7.1. So divided by uh, 0 0.5 times 85. And please, ladies and gents, I hope that you continue to, re to verify if my answer is correct. So I, I get 16.5 as my final answer. And now I'm going to take the square root of that. I get 4.06. So my velocity there, apologies that uh, I'm just scrambling for space. So my velocity would be uh, 4.06 meters per second. Okay, right. So please keep in mind. In this case, that's how we are going to get that that uh, uh, that velocity. Okay, right now let's go on to the next uh, portion.